everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tristan I am a part-time reseller on apps such as Poshmark eBay Mercari Facebook marketplace TradeZ basically anywhere you can sell clothes and shoes and accessories you will find me there trying to sell those things today I have a different kind of video but kind of the same I did I went thrifting on Thursday um, which was actually the first time in like almost three weeks so I was very excited um, I filmed a little a little bit of footage in there and I wanted to put together like a thrift with me so you could see my uh, what I didn't get the kind of items the prices that they have in this thrift store I had actually never been to this thrift store um, so yeah I'm gonna roll that footage now and then um, stay tuned till the end and I'll show you what I got all right, so this is the new to me thrift store. It's called America's Thrift Store. It's um, located right outside of Atlanta in a city called Marietta. Um, I, I always stop at the shoes first, um, no matter which thrift store I go to. Um, these shoes were pretty marked up. They didn't have any really great ones. Um, I went through all those boots and didn't find anything. Um, these Ugg boots were really nice, and they were only $14, which is a little high for me. I did put them in my cart, but I didn't end up getting them. I'm, I'm just not a very high-risk person. <laughs> um, here, I was trying to manifest some Teaks or some Rothies or some Tories, but no, I didn't find anything. Um, this is a Halloween decoration that I bumped into and told it I was sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's just how I am. Um, these are a few items that were marked up that I probably would have gotten if they were like $5. Um, but they were just a little bit too high. This Velour Nike Tech was so incredibly cute, but $20, $20, I don't think so. I really like selling Adidas um, Originals, but again, um, that's a little too high for me. And they had a lot of Victoria's Secret Pink and they marked it all up. So I didn't get anything from them. And then this is a cute Maeve top, but it was uh, $7.99. I don't do that anymore. Um, this free people was dated and it was $10. So I definitely left that behind. Here's my first round of sorting. And I put this back because I'm pretty sure it was fake. <laughs> um, the jacket was cute, but it was fake. This Lily was really cute, but it had a tear in the back. So of course that um, wasn't going home with me. Lucky brand. If it had been plus size, I would have gotten it, but like regular size doesn't sell that great for me. Um, this Peruvian connection was actually really cute, and I put it back in my cart to see, um, to look up more comps on it, but I didn't end up getting it. Um, this blue and gray was reasonably priced, and it was cute, but it had some stains on the back that I was trying to show you, but I couldn't get a good angle. Um, this exclusively Masuk was actually kind of ugly, and I typically only pick up plus size in that brand anyway. On this Columbia new with tags, it was marked up and didn't have good comps. Um, this Merrill dress, um, I looked it up. It did not have good comps. Draper James, I love to sell. And $10 really isn't that bad, but it was missing the belt, I think. And um, that particular piece didn't have good comps. Um, this Lily dress was kind of dated. I didn't really like it. Um, this Amanda Uprichard, the price was okay for it, but it has some stains. Um, comps were okay for it as well. I looked up this and I kept on getting Stone Cold Fox, which I wish that's what it was, but no. So that went back. Um, this Show Me Your Moo Moo Maxi dress was so saturated. I mean, there were so many for sale. Um, I should have gotten this logo plus size dress. Uh, I don't know why I put it back. Um, Torrid, for that price, I wouldn't be able to resell it and make a profit, but it was really cute. All right, I'm just going through these long sleeve shirts, hoping to find something good. Um, I'm not sure if I pick anything up here. Oh, yeah, I stopped on this Dreamers and put it in my cart just because I wanted to look up comps. Um, I don't think I got that either. No, I didn't get that. All right, I'm just going through. Looking at these sweaters. I should have fixed that shirt. I don't know why I didn't. I usually do. And um, I like I love selling athletic sweaters and outerwear, but this had a hole in it. Um, actually, I had several holes, so I had to leave it behind. And then these rag and bone jeans, $6 isn't that bad, but the just regular basic skinny jeans, they don't sell well anymore, so I didn't pick them up. Um, this store had a designated section for their active wear, and I absolutely loved that. So I was going through the leggings, hoping to find something good. Um, like I said, they had a lot of pink stuff, but I didn't get any of it. Uh, it was all marked up. Usually I only get Victoria's Secret Pink if it's at the outlet and less than a dollar or right at a dollar. 
I love selling Nike shorts, but they're crazy for $7, especially since these are stained. Those definitely did not go home with me. And then I'm just looking through the shorts. I'm so glad they had these separated from the regular shorts because I didn't want to go through the regular shorts, especially since we're in the fall time now. But I feel like athletic shorts sell all year round. Um, but I, I don't think I ended up picking anything up. Um, like I said, I love selling Nike shorts, but they were all marked at $7. So I definitely couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. <laughs> All right, so um, I don't I don't think I find anything good here. I found a pair of shorts for myself, but nothing to resell. Um, I'm going to come up on a pair of Gap Athletic, and I wish, or Gap Fit, I wish that they sold better because they feel like they are better quality, but um, I've tried it before, and it doesn't sell good. Um, they had a lot of sports bras and a lot from Victoria's Secret, but as you can see, they had them all marked up to $15, so no. All right, this is my second cart that I'm about to go through. I'm going to go through the intimates, the athletic wear, and the sweaters, I believe. Um, so, yeah, let's go through it and see what I found. Um, if you were on my Instagram, you know that I fell in love with these, and I'm so excited. Um, this is the stuff I didn't get. These were an obscure brand. They had cute embroidery, but they had a weird size, small. So, they went back. Tory Burch, I would have loved to pick up in the past, but not now. This anthropology was pretty ugly. This free people was marked up a little bit and kind of dated. Um, this was a cabbie that was marked up. Um, this is that dreamer sweater that I didn't get. Um, that other one is a J. Crew like wool wool mohair blend. Um, these leggings, I love the print on them, but they just were a no name brand. Um, I definitely would have got these Nike Tech fleece leggings, except for they had these weird burn marks on them. It looked like so I didn't get those. So Victoria's Secret pink pants that I put back. And then um, these are some Adidas leggings. They were really cute, but they were just marked up a little too high and they were too plain. Um, this is a Gymshark uh, sports bra. It was marked at $15, so I didn't take that home either. There was also a Intimately Free People uh, bra in there, but it was like $16, so I didn't get that. Um, these items I probably would have gotten at the outlet. Cloth and Stone just doesn't sell super well. Um, this... Free people, it's just kind of basic, like these are everywhere, so I didn't get that. I kind of wish I would have gotten this Zara top, because it's really cute and kind of unique, but I do not sell Zara well, so I left that behind. And then this free people, it was just kind of old and dated, and um, I didn't get it. All right, so I'm leaving the store. I spent five hours in the store and spent $80. I also got some stuff for myself. Um, stay tuned. Thank you for watching that footage, if you made it this far. Um, so now I'm just going to go in and show you what I did end up getting. I didn't get that much. I got, um, I think, seven or nine items to resell. And then two items for myself to wear. A pair of shorts and a pair of leggings. A shirt for my cousin. And then I got a blanket. Which, funny story. I got the blanket because the next day I was going to a concert. Pause. My dog might start barking in a minute. He's just, he's just weird. Um, but anyways... I was going to a concert the next day and we were sitting on the lawn and so I wanted, I, we needed a blanket to take. When we got there, they ended up giving us a free upgrade to sit in actual seats. I put my blanket down. I was a little bit tipsy. When we, when <laughs> we went to go get more drinks, when I came back, my mom had moved seats and she didn't take the blanket. So I lost the blanket. It was really cute too, but I mean, I only paid like $4 for it. But anyways, um, all that. I just ramble on, I know. Um, I think my average cost of goods this day was $5, which is a little bit higher than my normal $3 cost of goods, but wait till you see what I got. I think I got some really good pieces. Okay, so the first item is this Mod Cloth size 3X blouse. It's blue and velvet, like a burnout material. And it has these kind of puff sleeves with this bracelet at the end. And yeah, mod cloth plus size typically does good for me. I kind of want to keep it myself because it's my size, but um, I think I probably, all this is already listed. That's how excited I was. It's Sunday and all, and I bought this on Thursday. I typically never list that fast, but yeah, I was pretty excited about this stuff. I think I listed that at $38. Okay, the next item I got is this House of CB dress. It's just this really nice bandage style dress and it has this full zipper in the back uh, I just sold a house of CB dress for 60 then I sold a pair of pants for 21 
Um, I think I had this listed at 100, honestly, because comps, they didn't have any like this listed that I could find just on eBay. I didn't look on Poshmark, but yeah, so I thought that maybe I probably, of course, I'll take offers. I'm hoping to get like 60 to $75 for it. I had never found House of CB, and in the last couple of months, I found three pieces, so. Um, this right here is a Lily Pulitzer cardigan. It's not made of any special material, but Lily Pulitzer car, uh, outerwear cardigans in general usually do really well for me. I think I have this one listed at 48. Um, yeah, and it's a size small. <clears throat> this is nothing special, just a Beyond Yoga with Pure Bar tank top. I think I have a photograph the wrong way. Anyways, it has the um, the pure bar at the end, or the bottom right there. It's a really cute, lightweight tank top. Um, those collabs usually do pretty good. Um, I had never heard of this brand, but it's a new attack sample piece. It's called um, CMEO Collective. And it's just like a little mini dress. I hate these things right here. It's just a little dress. New a tag, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's called the Because You Do Short Sleeve Dress, which I wouldn't call this short sleeve, but whatever, you do you. <laughs> I really like the bottom, it's kind of pleated. All right, next up, this is my second most exciting find for me, because the comps were really good on this. This is Lily Pulitzer Luxletic. It's a pullover, um, three quarter zip, the pattern is quintessential lily and the comps were like $75 and I was just like whoa whoa I found a lot of lily like if you in the footage you just saw I found two dresses uh, the dresses weren't that great though and I think I found um, a top too but it wasn't it was like a plain top so I didn't get it I had never found this brand before Lisa Todd um, I think her more like bolder outrageous prints do better but I did want to try it out because it's got this like color block orange on the um, side and on the sleeve. I think I have this listed at 40. Um, I have the um, Luxletics. I think I have it listed at like 80. I'm like aiming high. Okay, this is my most exciting find. If you follow me on Instagram, which is um, just Wild Peach Boutique, like my YouTube channel is, then you already know. This is a pair of Carbon 38 leggings. I had never found this brand. Um, I can't exactly remember who it was, but I heard about this brand on YouTube. I watched so many reseller YouTubes and um, I was, I knew as soon as I felt it that it was quality and then I saw the brand and I was like, yay, something off my bolo list. Um, so yeah, this is size medium and they're like these shiny, I can't remember what they're called, but they're shiny and full length and high rise. Basically they hit all the points. So I think I have these listed at 75. Of course, I take offers on everything, but that was my starting point. Um, this piece is rather exciting too. This is just the anthropology of Kimmy and Ken. It's a large petite, but look at the embroidery on this. Like this is so cute to me. Um, I sold one uh, an Kimmy and Ken piece on Facebook Marketplace for like forty dollars, full price. Like same day I listed it. It's got this cute zipper in the back. So yeah, I'm excited about this piece. Um, then this last piece, I think, yeah, this is the last piece. This actually already sold. This is an Anthropology Dolan Left Coast. No big deal, but it is 3X plus size. I wanted to keep it again for myself because I'm going into the office next month, but it sold full price for $48 on Poshmark. And it's got these balloon sleeves and like this pretty like floral print design cut out in the back so yeah this sold already again for $48 I think I ended up making after the um, after the fees $38 so yeah that's all that I got from that thrift store as you can see from the footage a lot of the stuff was marked up I probably will go back because it seems like they mark up a lot of like known brands like Free People and Nike and Victoria's Secret Pink but they didn't know this Dolan left close so I averaged all my prices out, but this was actually only $3.99. Um, they didn't know this Akimi and Ken, it was $2.99. Um, 
they didn't know these carbon 38, they were $4.99. So I think if I, um, if I go through the store, I can find some gems that they didn't know or mark, that didn't know to mark up rather. And I actually didn't go through the men's stuff, which I love going through men's items, but I did not have time. I spent five hours in that store <laughs> because it was so big. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back because I think I can find some gems like I did today. I may not spend five hours, but I'm definitely going back and um, I'm going to go through the men's stuff because I bet I can find some good men's stuff. All right, I want to thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I got some more videos coming up tomorrow. I'm going to film a what's all video. I haven't done it in two weeks. Uh, to be honest, my mental health has not been that great, so I haven't wanted to be on camera, but I'm feeling a little bit better, even though my sinuses are all wonky today. Um, yeah, I'm going to film that. I'm thinking of some other videos that I want to do. Um, here in Atlanta, we don't have um, Google outlets or bins that are, like, really close. Uh, we have one in... Columbus, one in Savannah, and one in um, Augusta. Those are the three that are in Georgia. Then we have one in Chattanooga, which is fairly close. The one in Savannah is like four hours away, but I think I'm going to go to all three of the ones that are closer, which are like two, two and a half hours, and um, see which one has the best stuff, which one brings me the most profit. I think that would be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end up doing that. If I go thrifting, of course, I'll do another haul, um, and then I don't know. I just like making videos. So we'll see what happens. Um, thank you again so much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram. It's just Wild Peach Boutique like it is here. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you like my content and want to see more. Um, it would make me very happy. I, I want to keep making videos. I love you 17 viewers who have watched my stuff. It makes me so happy. Okay, that's it. Let me quit gushing. All right, bye.